Hello and welcome back to Steam World Build. I'd once again like to thank the developers, the station, and the publisher, Thunderful Publishing, for providing me with a key to play this for you on YouTube. In our last episode, we started a little town here in Gideop Gorge, and we've gotten a good chunk of the way through, although we do have a bit more uh, work to do here, of course. Uh, we're working on milestones. Uh, we're also working on... Uh, mining we have some work to do down in the mine according to the next steps here on the tutorial but also see that the engineers are telling us that we could make a sheet metal factory from the ironium which we don't have yet and a spare parts maker also from the ironium so we need to get down to the mines and get to get, get to work ironium oh, by increasing the prospector quarters we can get more prospectors which will shorten the time it takes to gather resources. We've also gained access to the workshop facility, which allows us to build machines. Facilities have a machine capacity depending on their size. Hint, if you need more capacity for machines, increase the size of the facility. Okay, let's go ahead and start with the prospectors uh, here. We have mechanics too, wow. Uh, and then we can also dig out some of this now that we can dig out sandstone, we can make this prospector's quarters a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna go a little bit like this maybe that's a five by five we go with that that always works for dungeon keeper i don't know if it'll work for this or not or we can even go out to six then we can clear out some of this other stuff wait six but yeah six there we go go ahead and we'll get that built as soon as we can and then we'll also work on these machines that they would like us to do um the workshop uh we could potentially expand this a little bit more i don't know if we need to or not though Oh, that gets our second prospector. That's good. We can also work our way back into here to clean up or pick out some of this um, other miscellaneous stuff here. I think that'll be a good idea. Wasn't there a chest that I saw that I didn't get to yet? Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, there it is right there. Wait, I, why did I not get to that one? Rubies! Nice. Four rubies. Rubies can be found in the mine. You can use them to buy items and equipment from the train station. We should start doing that uh, pretty soon. At this workshop we need uh, to clear out another room for. And I think we want to put it a little bit away from the other stuff. But we also need to put it somewhere where we can actually dig out a room. Maybe over here, since this is kind of already started. What if we did something like, I don't know, that to start with? And then we can go bigger later. That would be fine if we did. bit more here. Actually, I should just do it this way. Why does it not seem like it's square? It is. It's six by six, but why does it not seem? I don't know. We're up to three prospectors now. Oh, we might need to have some reinforcement in here. Let's take a look at that. Yes, we do. Let's put that up. We might need some down here, too. Uh, is there any other place where it's getting a little bit uh, thin? We don't have any rooms really dug out but those, so I think that might be it. For right now, but this this might need it once we get it dug out a little bit more. But I'm gonna also let them go ahead and clean up a little bit before we give them more work to do, I think, because we need to have some of that some of that uh, rubble cleaned up. Yeah, we could use one of these in here. Go right there, and then nope, this one here, workshop. Oh, crap. I didn't mean to put one there. Yes. All right. The workshop allows us to place extractors. Select the scrap extractor in the facilities category and place it next to any scrap vein. Extractors can't be built inside rooms. Make sure the floor is clear before placement. Okay, that's the scrap extractor here. Let's also build a little bit more to the workshop. Here we go. Why you not work? Oh, we need more tools. All right, we'll have to wait until we get some more tools going then. Or get some so this should go here but we need more tools let's look around for some more tools how about uh, no that's ironium we need to get to that can't get to that one because it's on the other side of the bedrock and we can't mine bedrock let's do this uh, let's do these let's do, do we need to get a bridge to get across there i like how they put little railings along this that's kind of nice 
And then over here I see you. And then also back there for more scrap, I think. What that is, yeah, more scrap. We'll get that going. We have a, we're a little short on scrap, which we knew, and we're also short on spare parts. So we'll need to get that stuff going. Uh, I think spare parts were based on scrap, so scrap is our problem, which means we need to get to more scrap, which we're going to do by doing this. Can't tell if that's selecting or not, or how that works exactly. Discovered a scrap vein. Okay, now can I do? Yes, I can. Excellent. While we're here, we should also do that one and these ones over here. Ooh, what is that? Another chest, a bigger chest, though. We're gonna have to build bridges to get out to it. Good, there's some tools. We can build an extractor now, though. I think we can just put it in this one. And then the, um... To install a scrap mechanic extractor, we need mechanics. These bots are responsible for building and maintaining the machines in the mine. Yeah, so now we need another uh, quarters area, which I think we could probably just do over here. And we might need to reinforce again. Here, the train. Just passed. Track with the lever to pull it. Pulling levers will unlock connected doors. Follow the contoured cables to find the door. And that's one. And that leads over to something over here. We'll have to find the other, the other red cable, I'm guessing what that means. There's another red cable someplace. Another red switch, anyway. We could dig this one. Go ahead and clear these out as well. And then let's do mechanic quarters here. Don't have very many tools, so it's uh, not really able to do it yet. Just gotta wait for the tools to get built. But there's a mechanic. I think that's enough for one. Room is too small. Needs to be at least nine tiles. Okay, so we need three more tools. Oh, we have them now. That didn't take long. There we are. So hopefully that gets us one mechanic. It does. Which means we can at least get this thing going. Which means that the prospector won't need to prospect it anymore. They can work on just this one. They will also repair any steam bots, machines, or turrets that might be damaged. Uh oh, turrets. We're maxed out on boards right now. Machine constructed. Is that you? It is you. So then, yeah, it doesn't let us have a prospector here anymore, which it doesn't need anymore anyways. So that's good. But this is a constant uh, scrap mine that we don't need to have a person maintaining, I guess. Although it does say five of five engineers. So I don't I don't know. Maybe that's just kind of like a required uh, in order to support it. Can I do a little bit more minor? Oh, this is prospector, not minor. This is miners. Although I would like to do some more of those too. Can I do like this? Make this a little bit bigger. Man, I need another uh, roof support over here. Possibly. But I'd like to have some more miners so we can get work done a little bit faster when it's time. And uh, let's check their roof support status. No, we're good there. And we don't need one here yet either. Okay, good. Now this Ironium needs a prospector. Good. The newly acquired Ironium, we should build a sheet metal factory next. Sheet metal will be needed for many buildings going forward. Okay. What if the extractor works on... Ironium as well. 
Oh, I need to expand this first. Okay, we can do that. There we go. Tab. No, it only works on that. Okay, so somebody's got to mine this, and it's got to be a prospector. At least for right now. Although, I did just notice this thing here. Surveillance facility. And the dirty water extractor. That's what the dirty water is for here. All right, let's go back upstairs and build a sheet metal factory. We learned th about that needing ironium, so we should build this somewhere over here near the mall. Or near the mall, near the mine. Um, I think this would be a good spot. At least I'm telling myself it will. And we're getting close to where we need to get some more uh, engineers in here. Uh, we're good on, for right now at least, the, uh, the regular workers, but the engineers we could use a bit more pretty soon. So we should probably get prepared for that. Let's go ahead and build the workers' uh, residentials. Like three of them, plus maybe one over here. That would be good. Build and close this road off now. Just did the whole thing. There we go. And then once these have their... Yep, we can upgrade them to engineers. Are you too far away from something? Service shop. Was this was a service shop? Yeah, it's too far away. Yeah. All right, this one can be upgraded, though. Let's do that one. No, it can't. Why you can't? Tools. Need more tools. We require more minerals. You're overwhelmed still. Do I have... Let's take a look at the train. Uh... Production, speed, warehouse deliveries. Let's do that one. That's one thing that I could use. Flamethrower. Guard equipment burns away creep. We haven't gotten to creep yet, but that's uh, looking interesting. All right. You got your hands on an item. Use the item tool to put it in our buildings. So we just bought the warehouse one, and this warehouse is the one that seems to be overwhelmed all the time. So we can do that, or we can do this. And we can just do it this way. Do that. And then that puts that in that building. And that means that warehouse now has two simultaneous deliveries. So basically it's twice as efficient uh, than, the, than it was at the beginning. Base. Okay, so now that we're making scrap metal here. Low production because we're not getting very much ironium. But that's kind of understandable since it's uh, just what it is. And we'll have to just wait till we get more, maybe more nodes of it or something. To get more of it. Where are we at with bridges? Uh, I saw them here somewhere. Bridge right there. Needs more engineers to unlock. Yes, we're going to have to build engineers then. All right, we're going to have to do this. Uh, do the engineers need the service too? No, they don't. So we're going to have to build another service thingy over here. Maybe I should put it, like, come up here onto this hill. Like that. And then expand out up here somehow. Although, maybe I don't want to put it there either, because it could maybe it should be, like, right here. Yeah, let's do the road right there. And that. And then we can do more housing up here, too, if we want. Let's do, um, workers' service shop. Uh, let's see. That's the first one. That should be fine. Just go to the second one there. And that satisfies these folks, which means that... Well, almost. Why are you still not... Oh, crap. Nope, that's not that's not the right spot either. Let's move that. Uh, let's do... That. I'm going to count these again. Uh, move this one. Or I don't know. I can just do it like this. See, it's not getting... Oh, I see why it's not getting there. I didn't finish the road. There you go. Excellent. All right, so you should be happier now. Let's do this one. That puts them back to 20. It gets us up to 142 and probably 150 or 60 once all this, the satisfaction's met. But they go up to 13 now with spare parts. That's this one, which needs scrap and ironium to make. I don't think we're going to be able to get to that quite yet. Because we probably need to mine more ironium first. Um, although, if we did get it... 
Let's see, what do we got? Service inhabitants, service item citizen bonus plus three. Uh, rubies for, you can buy rubies, okay. And then recruit bonus mechanics. Plus three bonus mechanics. I don't think we need that either. This may be, but I don't think we even need that. I think we should just put up more housing and see what we need to fill in with. There, 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 there. Road. Okay. See what they're... Yeah, we're going to have to put more needs satisfaction buildings up, up here. Because they're not anywhere near close enough to the general store. So let's put one of those up. This is the shorter building. So let's put it back here, I think. There they go. And that should take care of them. And then we'll want to do this, of course. Out of tools already. But we can see what those might not get the needs for. Saloon. Which I think is the build bigger building, right? No, this is the smaller one, too. Let's put that in... Right in here someplace, maybe? Because that one only reaches that far. Yep, so we need another saloon for sure. Put it right here. There we are. There they go. And that takes care of all of you, but... Oh, they need the surveyor, too. Was it the surveyor? The surveyor was the big one. Okay. And that doesn't go very far at all. Uh, maybe then I should have not done this quite like this, but we'll see. One, two, three, four, five. So I think we gotta go there. Let's see. No, that's fine. That'll be fine. Uh, we just need more tools. Definitely going to need to find some more um, scrap veins to prospect. One more? Come on. One more. There we go. And that should take care of the rest of your needs, because we don't, we're don't. we not doing spare parts just yet. And then we can do um, engineer upgrade. Nope, because we need the tools. Let's go back down to the mine and see if we can prospect around for some more uh, spare parts without building the bridges because we can't build the bridges yet. Maybe back in here someplace we can find something. Come this way. And then also this way. And also this way. That looks like we're good. This here is done. We can't get across that yet. We could open this up, but to what end? That's good, that's good, that's good. So I think it's just these couple of spots out here. Oh, we come this way too. This one, there. Meets in there, but that's fine. Meets in the middle, that is. That's fine. These guys sound like goblins. There's more ironium right there. We'll want to get that going. I don't think that worked. That one. These ones. Connect this up. There you go. Too few prospectors. That we can fix. Okay. Does that satisfy it? Do I know? I have four recruited. I can support five. None are idle. We could build another extractor, though, on that other scrap, thereby not needing the prospector for it. Uh, that's this. Let's do that. Since we have the capacity, we might as well use it, right? Right. And then we can continue digging this way. Uh, this is all done over here. Let's go this way. We might be able to come into this area, but I don't think there's anything here. I also don't know if dirt... And sandstone and anything else give us anything. I see we're getting random bits of gold, but I don't know if that's from the sandstone or if that's just random. Ooh, brittle bedrock. I'm guessing we were able to dig through that. Oh, we are. Now that's a horse of a different color. That means we can get into some of this. Machine constructed. 
but that's not brittle, that's not brittle. This is, though. Look at that. Sneaky, sneaky. I didn't even notice that was brittle. There's some brittle here, too, but it doesn't look like it leads anywhere. So I'm not going to bother with it. That's all brittle, too, but... Again, it doesn't look like it leads anywhere. And this was just to see what was back here, but there's nothing back here, either. Do I need more... No, I don't need more uh, mechanics. That one's already idle. Oh, the prospectors are still unloading the stuff from the machines. You can see that one wiggling its way back with a little box of something, I'm assuming. is the box of, uh, of scrap. Let's see if it happens again. Yeah, there's two little Amazon boxes right there. Yep. Okay. That explains that. I'm happy with that solution. Get this chest, though. Might as well. Alright. Takes a while to get through that to brittle bedrock, but they can get through it. That's the important part. What do we got? Production chance. Where would that be useful in? Does that work in those? No, it could go in these, but I don't know. No items available. I already got that one. This one, you guys can't, or that can't have them. This, no items available. So production chance must be an upstairs thing then. Let's go upstairs, because we could also set up this, um, this uh, spare parts maker. Although... Does, do I want this up here, or do I want this down... I think this needs to be down in the town. Which means I don't know how they're uh, going to get the Ironium and the uh, Scrap without the warehouse being in range. Hmm. Well, let's try it anyway. We'll put this one here. We'll see what happens. I don't know what's going to happen, but we'll see what happens. Looks like some of them will get it, some of them will not. Which is what I expected. Uh, if we do the road upgrades, though, we might be able to get a little bit more out of it. Let's do like that. Whoa, what the heck? Weird. Yep, we can get a little more, more out of it. At least get this part of town covered. Even if we can't quite get up to that part of town yet. But you need resources, of course. And... There we go. Takes a while to make spare parts, but that's okay. That'll get us a few more engineers. We're aiming towards 200, and that should get us to 200 uh, with that, I think, because each one's going to get three more um, with that that need met, so we only need to get four of them upgraded. So we should be good there. How much will you make before you stop? Sheet metal. I saw somewhere... I wonder if I can actually put in this one. I don't know if that's going to help me any or not. What's the cap? It is 50. Okay. There's where the caps were. I remember I saw it, but I couldn't remember where. Well, I suppose eventually we'll want to upgrade all these roads. Since they do move faster on them. Right? Right? Paved roads allow faster movement speed for your steam bots and increases the coverage range of your service buildings. Yeah, so we'll want to have that eventually. We could try to get it done now. We went like this. There we go. The next one is 240 engineers. All right, well, we got our we got the engineers we needed, though. There it goes, actually, already. Wow, we, uh, we made a big difference with that building. Look at that. Uh, all of these now in, in this part of town are covered. Um, and now they have more needs. Of course, Robo Burger and Water for them. You all are still stuck at five, though. Okay. Oh, we have Aristobots. Oh, dear. Remember to keep an eye on your resource balance in the administration window. Yes, I know. What do we have a problem here? Charcoal. We should set up another charcoal. 
purified water we need to have yet, and then the robo burgers we need to have yet as well. So charcoal was not that one, but this one. Uh, maybe I should shift that over so I can get another one of them in here. Or is it not enough room still? Um, I don't have enough room in here yet still. What if I moved this over also? No one's grow some more trees, although maybe it would be wiser to grow the trees elsewhere. Where are we at with... Yeah, maybe we come over here and grow some more, now that I moved everything around for no reason. Let's uh, do this... Nope, nope, this part. That part. Tab to rotate, and... I don't know if knocking the trees down makes a difference. That just killed the fertility of the sand sifter by putting a road in there. Okay. Then let's move it just out a little bit further on that road that I just built, and that'll be fine. Keep clicking on the wrong thing. So of course I do. You can go there. Uh, we might need... Oh, we have enough warehouse coverage for that. Charcoal. Yeah, so by building stuff, you are killing the fertility of, of your different things. Which, again, sand having fertility is kind of a weird concept, but... Hmm, I guess I shouldn't have put that there, then. Let's move this over here. And then move that right there. Keep messing up the, the rotation. It's kind of backwards. Okay, so so we're just short now on purified water and robo burgers, which we should be able to work on the purified water as soon as we get over to these dirty water things. The surveillance facility is now available. Selecting the facility shows you what could be found in the mine floor you're on, such as resource veins or chests. The surveillance facility will also mark old tech and new mine shaft locations on the map. Okay. This needs radar slots no needs money okay needs the usual things do i need to have this be a certain size how does this work i guess it's probably got to be three by three in order to work right um and then radar machine oh wow yeah okay so let's um not build that yet let's look at the bridges first because I would like to build, oops, I would like to build bridges first. I want to get across to this area here, which minimally is going to cost me four if I go there. One, two, three, four if I go anywhere. At least. Uh, no, I get three across here. Three there. And then let's go this way. I'm going to put one of those robo thingies over there, or the surveillance thingies over there. Um, I want to also go this way, so let's build another bridge over here. One, two, three. Like that. Ooh, blue switch. Where do you go? This way? This way? Up there. Or maybe they go to the same place. Yeah, they go to the same place. And I also want to do this, and a bridge going to that dirty water there. We're going to want to come over here to this one, too. Uh, so let's dig this out as well. Because we're going that way anyways for this. Uh, so let's do a surveillance facility. Radar machine, rather. Out here. And another one way over here. Oh, the surveillance facility is too small. Oh, okay. So it's got to be scaled to the number of radars that I want. Okay, it's plus one radar slot now, so we should be okay. Nope. Curious. There we go, two. Okay, I see. I must there must be some enhancement that I could have done to get the second one. Out here then. And then let's use more bridges. 
get to that one. Although I could have come back this way, I guess, for one cheaper. Just go right here. Like that. And the door that we were looking for. What do we got? Use the dig tool to start excavating the rocket part. Miners will make their way to the location and start the process. Need one more miner. Alright. Let's open this up as well. And this gives us another bonus miners. Okay. Can we put that in here? There we go. There's the miners we needed. Just a minor change. And eventually we'll need to do that dirty water extraction, which I don't know that we can yet. Oh, yes, we can. Dirty water extractor, scrap excavator, ironium extractors. We need a bigger workshop. <laughs> I think that's what it always comes down to. We require more stuff. Oh. Do I need to do this? Yes, I do. Possibly again here. Yes, so do. Dig that one, please. Dig these. Could do that as well. There's another Ironium back there. Oh, sweet irony. Um. Uh, we need to get over here. Clear those. Open this up. So I don't know that we even need these. Is that bonus prospectors now? Tools scavenging. Uh, what's going on? Short on scrap. Yep. Practically gives you tools. Hey, that's worth it. We need to get over there eventually. We're going to want to come this way and get into this. So I don't know if those are in the right spots necessarily or not, because they don't seem to... This may be the end of the level, basically, or very nearly. So maybe it'd be worthwhile to delete this one, or move it, rather over to here, where we're like a forward uh, forward base kind of thing. Let's extract that water too. And then once we get to this, uh, we can do that too. Like that. The old tech has been excavated. Interact with it to claim it. Hurry now. Hold it up to the city and let us prepare for its installation. The first of many, but we must start somewhere. Ain't no telling what'll happen when we start moving that thing. When it shakes, they hear it. You have to be ready. We weren't ready last- Who hears what? What weren't you ready for? I'm not sure what that old Rustbot is talking about, but that song is louder now. It's asking me to come closer. New arrivals. New arrivals. Escape vessel. Escape vessel. Disassemble. 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 Six parts. Six parts. Maintenance, Maintenance overdue. Overdue. Maintenance overdue. Locate, Locate remaining, parts. remaining parts. Combine. 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 Launch. Launch. What in tarnation's going on? The old signal speaks. You sure she'll be okay? Your daughter is fine. She will need some time to recharge. What matters now is that we know what we must do. Recover the remaining five pieces of the vessel and put it together so we can escape. I remember that voice. It sounds so old. Obtain all rocker parts in the mine to complete this construction. Okay. And where is this at relative to anything else here? Oh, I see. Way down there. Wow. Yeah, way down there. Uh, you're going to need one of those upgrades as well. What are we at with... Do we happen to have another one? If we had the money. Uh, and the uh, groovies. Production speed, tool scavenging. I don't feel like I need either of those necessarily. Um, but yeah, we need more scrap for sure. Ooh, instability. We got to fix that. Uh, there. Okay. And we probably need to expand this workshop some more. Is 
so we can build more tools. Uh, you're building that now. Good. We want to do this other dirty water extractor eventually, but we need more or the tools. I'm sorry, more uh, machines. We need more tools to build that. This gives me a blueprint. What is that? Speed vent. As soon as any of your steam bots cross it, they will get a boost of speed. Ooh. Too few prospectors. I happen to get one in there. Oops. This is prospectors, right? Yep. Uh, let's excavate another bit here. Put some more of them in. So this needs tools. Yeah. Of course it does. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Where are they going most often? To one of these machines, I would say. Oh, I got this one tier too. I missed it. More miners? Gold scavenging. Oh, another thing for the miners, though, to have. And that's three out of three. So if we wanted to choose another one of these, another something, we'd have to give up one of those. All right. Uh, we could do... We could automate some more stuff. Let's do this. And let's go this way as well. Oops. I did that wrong. There. Let's also work on a bridge to there. Unless there's a way to get there easier. But I don't think there's going to be. Over here we're done. Down here we need to get... Let's do this one though. We can do this one. We can do it. And then I see there's brittle uh, bedrock behind that, so we'll get that out as well. Too few prospectors. Yeah, I did prepare that, but I just didn't actually build it. Here we are. Let's also expand this way, maybe. Um, yep. We got some... Serious stuff over here. Trains here. We could go check to see what uh, what might be new in the train. Maybe that way. I don't know. We'll go there. Looks like I could use some more workers. I like how these look like they're just gobbling away at it. And we'll set up this Ironium as well, although we can... Yeah, we need more prospectors. I know. Working on it. Patience. Patience, Padawan. Is there any way that tells me how many I need? Or does it just keep yelling at me whenever I do something? Do we need more Ironium? What's that? Production chance. Okay. Uh, we gotta go out this way. See what's in there. At some point, we're going to need another uh, green guy uh, mechanic. So I've discovered a scrap vein. Still need more prospectors. I figured. This one, that one. This one and that one. There's a green door over here. Let's move. Maybe move. Oh, actually, maybe not move. Let's build some bridges here. Ooh, look at that. Rubies. Yeah, we can move this. So 
we have one here. So let's put another one out here somewhere. Yes, prospectors. I know. I don't know if you actually need walls, like rooms with just limited, limited doorways or not in this game. Uh, a la the aforementioned Dungeon Keeper. Or if it matters really at all. I mean, they're reinforcing the walls. So, but the outside walls, I think, is where that makes more sense. But it's a little bit uh, tough to tell at this point. Until we actually have enemies to deal with, I assume. Go that way. This is good here. We could build a bridge across here someplace. But I also want to come into here somewhere. And that way, maybe. Um... Oh, no, we don't need to build a bridge here. You can go that way. And that way. This might need a bridge, but I'm going to come around from the other side just to see. This, though, does not. We'll cut into there. Oh, we could have gotten around here without... Without even building that bridge. I should sell those bridges. I didn't notice that. That, that bedrock was destructible. That's a little hard to see, so that's a good excuse, if any. Ooh, look at that. More gold. Maybe that was where they were finding the gold when I was digging it out, and I just wasn't paying that much attention either. Hard to say. We can go that way, so maybe we don't need to build a bridge across here. Uh, that, not any destructible bedrock there. We have a yellow-green door we need, or switch we need to deal with here. Door switch, yeah. Words. There we go. There and there. This is definitely a dead end over here. Uh oh, we got a collapse warning here. Oh, yeah. Not good. There we go. And let's do more of this. No, not yet. We gotta let them get that scrap cleaned up. Let's grab another dirty water vein over here. Ooh. Lots of goodies over here. Where's that yellow switch at? Still hidden. Maybe in here. There it is. Yellow switch. This one here. That one there. These ones here. A bridge across to that, possibly. Hey, there's the train again. Another Ironium here. Make sure that I can't... I can sneak in here. Look at that. Let's do that. And then here. That's all sealed off. But this... This is where the money is. This is done. Uh, what are we... It wouldn't let me put it on the switch. Even though the switch is where it told me to put it. What's the pink stuff? Hmm. Dig, dig, dig. in this way. I can see it. It just depends on whether that'll actually continue or not, or if we're done with the uh, bedrock. The Yeah, the bedrock at that point. Did I mark... Let's mark this here, even though... No enough prospectors. I'm probably gonna have to put up another prospector um, quarters, because that one's getting a little bit too big. Uh, but we can definitely expand it to fill the space that I've already mined out, though. Now that they've finished digging at it. Do that. That'll give us a few more. We get up to 12 now. That ought to help a little. Yeah, that's where that ended. Perfect. Let's see something back there. Go that way. And there's the other switch. There's the chest with a 
Service income. Oh. That way, please. And I see somebody else right there. New rocket part found. Ooh. We found an abandoned mine shaft that will take us further down into the mine. To access to the next floor, the mine shaft needs to be repaired. There will be unique resources and new rocket parts deeper in the mine. Hint, press three to go down. We can't go down yet because we can't. Let's clean some of this stuff up while we kind of wait. There's the mine there. It needs um, she metal and boards. We've got all the resources, but we need an Aristobot times 10. So we need to go back up to the surface and figure those guys out. Uh, let's do this. See what that's got. Crate. Warehouse expansion. Okay, we can definitely use that. Uh, so this got done, which means I didn't need that bridge after all. Yes. Yes. Reinforcement here. That'll do. There. Might as well just take that stuff out. Not doing us any good. And then six of you can go work on that. And they always take priority on that one. We have eight miners, though, so that'll be okay. We'll still have two people doing something else. This looks like we may have reached the edge of this direction. Um, there's some... Nope, there's not, actually. I lied. This looks good over here. This is probably the end of this floor. We seem to get into this, which we figured out that we can't directly. So we'll need to build a bridge to it. And I want to, just because. Is there a shorter path to it anywhere? Not really. But we can also get refunds. These are 200, 2, and 2, and deleting one gives us 200, 2, and 2 back. So, deleting bridges, or building bridges to delete them later doesn't cost anything but time. Ooh. Money. Checking my uh, margins here. Looking for good edges. Looks like we're all good, unless I missed a uh, something object in the middle someplace. We should be all good. Uh, we can do some more um, machines. Click on the right things for the third time there. Uh, this is Ironium. Up here we have Scrap. Here we have Scrap. We could do the dirty water, but we need to make that into whatever it's made into upstairs first. I think we did all the ones on this sort of half. Um, oh, we got this done already. Excavation of rocket part complete. Clear your mind, little friend. Hear the old signal. Planning. Planning. Reach the stars. Reach the stars. Escape. Escape. Abort. Abort. Missing data. Missing data. Sounds like they didn't make it. Another piece of the vessel is found. That is all that matters. Yikes. I feel a bit dizzy. Shandling that voice sure takes it out of you. Everything is proceeding exactly as it should. Exactly as I planned. Mm hmm Alright, so now we need to repair the mine shaft, which we need, we need a few more boards. So we'll wait on that. And the Aristobots, of course. Um, we should be good otherwise on this mine level, so we just need to continue extracting the uh, scrap and the ironium as sort of planned. We'll also probably want to extract this dirty water from more of these nodes, but that'll take us just a little bit more time, um, I think. But I think we should also wrap this up here and work on that next component in the next episode. So, um, yeah, this is all just... Unless that one is brittle. Ooh, maybe there is some brittle bedrock in there. No, uh, maybe not. Um, so unless there's uh, there's something here that I've missed, which you can let me know in the chat or in the comments or whatever, and then we can um, take care of that. Otherwise, we'll get to the next level, probably in the next episode, and see what that leads to then. 
Thank you all for joining me, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.